Can you imagine a vacation that's so incredible it's what most people only dream about? This is so cool. I mean, the Greek islands on a yacht. Oh, this is great. Welcome to Laura McKenzie's Traveler. Mackenzie, and you know if there's one place you really feel like you're on vacation, it's the Greek islands. With the sun and the water and the boats and the slow pace, you wake up every morning and you just kind of go, ah, it's nice. Well, this is the island of Hydra, or Idra, as they say in Greek, and just one of the places I'm going to show you. Now, you can get here if you take the ferry from Athens, but I thought I'd show you the ultimate way to get around the islands, by private mega yacht. No, no, it's okay. I insist. So, let's get started and see what the Greek islands are all about. Now, close your eyes and imagine an island virtually unchanged for the past 200 years. No cars, no trucks, no buses, no high-rise buildings. Imagine yourself basking in the sun, taking in the sights, or people watching at a seaside cafe with an all-day coffee or ouzo. Now, open your eyes, because Hydra is one vacation destination you have to see to believe. Located in the Saronic Gulf, just 90 minutes by ferry from Athens, is where you'll find this unspoiled paradise, perfect for the entire family. Taxi? Yes, taxi. Taxi, taxi. Yeah. yeah. Taxi's in Hydra. OK, turn the meter on. <laughs> That's right, no wheels, but you can still catch a ride to cruise around town. It's quite comfy. You know, since they don't have cars here, if somebody was smart, they'd think about donkey drive through Banks, shops, it's a new business. I'm on it. Did somebody say shopping? Hydra is the place for great deals on handcrafted gold jewelry and other treasures. Credit cards? Yep, they take them. Ship at home? You bet. And anything handcrafted in Greece comes home duty free. Now that's an incentive. Isn't this fantastic? I love that there's no cars here. Donkeys walking. You know, it's like it was 100 years ago, except for the power boats. This is what you want to save your donkey budget for. Costs about six euros for 15 minutes. You're going to want it to go up the steps to the top of the hill. One last tip, don't wear a dress. Now, if you're thinking, I'm not going to ride a donkey, it's just for tourists. Now, now, that's not necessarily true. They have tourist donkeys, but they also use them in their daily life for hauling things around. Basically, if you don't want to haul it up the steps, you put it on a donkey. Once you've made it to the top, give yourself and your donkey a breather and take in the view from the platform at the entrance to the harbor. Here, a statue honors the Greek soldiers who led Hydra in the Greek War for Independence in the early 19th century. Honey, could you run back down and get the camera? Don't even ask. Nowhere in Greece will you find such a concentration of 18th and 19th century architecture. In the early 1800s, over 30,000 people lived here, mostly wealthy ship owners and merchants. They brought in Venetian artisans and carpenters to work on their homes and mansions, and many have been beautifully preserved. Local resident Anthony Nicolaitis tells us why he thinks Hydra is so special. Hydra lives uh, the life quietly because uh, doesn't uh, looks like the other places. Uh, we don't have cars. This is the best part of the place, and the people feel more safe, more comfortable, and more clean. So many people coming first of all to see this atmosphere. It uh, reminds the old times, the romantic times, which uh, uh, doesn't left anymore in the big cities. You know what Anthony told me? He's been here for so long. He says there's 3,000 people living yes. here, absolutely no crime. How yes. can that be? Because nowhere to go. <laughs> Basically, you yes. can't get away. <laughs> we have very fast speedboats from the port police. No theft. So they can't, they can't. No muggings, yeah, exactly. nothing. nothing, no pickpockets. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And if some bad people coming here, they have to change to be good to live here. 
Yes, they can't. That's funny. They can't keep so their personality. So it's a great place to bring your kids. Exactly. I mean, it is so exactly. safe. And kids here have their own playground. Not a bad place to cool off. And you gotta love it. Kids are crazy about those four-legged taxis. Assuming I can get back in the saddle. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> Take two. One, two, three. Bravo. OK. Bravo. Oh, I'm so graceful. This is the professional way, you know? I'm ready now. I'm ready for my clothes off. <laughs> Once you're on and securely seated, you can head off down the trail. A lazy afternoon in Hydra. What a wonderful day. You know, everywhere I've gone in Greece, everybody's been so friendly. I feel so comfortable. It's so safe. It's a great place to take the family. And when the sun goes down, the Greeks come out, first to enjoy the beautiful views, and second, to eat and drink, and eat and drink some more. Everybody always asks me, where do you like to go eat? So here's a little insider tip. If you walk up to the sunset side of the harbor, you're going to find this great little seafood restaurant called Sunset because it has a fantastic view of the water. Well, if you want to see the water, you're going to have to come at lunchtime because it's almost midnight. Greeks eat late. I mean, the shops don't close till 10. Anyway, you order the lobster and pasta, and you have to be adventurous and try the octopus. Yes, you have to try it. You're in Greece now. Here's a tip. Online and printed ferry schedules to the Greek islands are often wrong. The Athens News prints updated weekly schedules. Laura McKenzie's Traveler. We'll be right back. Welcome back. And for more information on the Greek islands, go to lauramckenzietv.com. Cruising the Greek islands in a chartered yacht may well be one of the all-time great experiences in life. No doubt about that. But actually exploring one of the Greek islands is another experience you don't want to miss. Which islands to cruise? Which islands to stop and explore? These are the decisions a yachtsman must make. That and what to have for dinner, of course. Our captain was instrumental in recommending an itinerary that I was sure to enjoy in the time we had at sea. He met his recommendation, and I flipped a coin. Done. We would cruise by the island of Poros and anchor for the night in Aegina. The Greek word Poros means a strip of sea between two bodies of land. Little did I know that the two bodies of land were so close together you could actually see in the windows as we cruised by. The distance between the island of Poros and the town of Galatia on the Greek mainland is only 300 meters at its closest point. And in ancient times, you could actually walk across it. But today, we cruise, passing lovely painted houses and cafes and a lifestyle that looks slow and easy. A volcanic island with unrivaled beauty, Poros is also known as the island of Poseidon, my favorite Greek god now, I've definitely decided. Its location makes it the perfect stepping stone for a visit from Athens, as well as to the surrounding islands. And its unique charm makes it a destination in itself. Maybe next time. Next, we come to our home for the rest of the day and night, the island of Aegina, or Agina, as they say here, another island in the Saronic group. With its quaint fishing boats and cafe culture, it's a favorite stop on the yachting circuit, as well as for the day-tripping ferry crowd. Aegina is known for a lot of firsts. It was the seat of the first Greek government a few thousand years ago. That's impressive. And the very first coins of the Western world were made here in the 7th century BC. I soon found there's no shortage of ways to spend a few coins here. The local market in Aegina is just a block up from the port, and I think the best way to get a feel for local color and flavor. All your senses will be engaged, I can assure you. Now that's fresh. Pistachio nuts are what the island's known for. The best in Greece, they say. Why not grab a bag and head for the hills? The highest point on the island is where to discover the ancient history of Aegina and where you'll find the hilltop temple of Aphia. You know what I think special? Here you have this sleepy little island with its fishing boats and its cafes in the port. 
and then you take a 20 minute drive through the villages and the pistachio trees and you come up to this fantastic archaeological site that hasn't been over commercialized with incredible views. Now that is the magic of the Greek islands. Originally built in the 6th century BC and then rebuilt in 480 BC, the Temple of Aphia is one of the best preserved historical monuments in the world. Dedicated to the mermaid goddess Aphia, the temple has a rich history full of legend and mythology. The architecture isn't too bad either. Over two and a half thousand years old, the temple is one point of a triangle that includes the Parthenon in Athens and the Temple of Athena at Cape Sunyan. Amazing technology using only fire to adjust height and distance. And just one of the incredible sights that the Greek islands has to offer. Sunset on Aegina doesn't get much better than this. The magic hour, when the island comes alive with local color. When the day trippers return to Athens. And when the Greeks come out to play. Shopping and dancing and eating and eating and more dancing. Lots of dancing. The Greeks really know how to have a good time. Opa! Here's a tip. Book a taxi to meet your ferry upon returning to Athens, as there are never enough to meet arriving passengers. Laura McKenzie's Traveler. We'll be right back. Welcome back. And for more information on the Greek islands, go to lauramackenzietv.com. Valef Yachts represents the largest fleet of luxury yachts for charter in Greece, with over 400 to choose from in all styles and sizes, accommodating from 4 to 84 guests. The Opery is one of Valef's best, so I asked the owner himself, why do people who can afford to do anything in the world choose a yacht over a luxury resort or a villa? Well, you see, the yacht has many advantages. One of these can be that, uh, that it's very private. The crew is trained always uh, to be there to take care of all, all your needs, but at the same time uh, to disappear out of, out of sight whenever you, you don't want them to be there. So privacy is one of the main points. The second thing that yachting can offer of, uh, of this level is that uh, the quality of service can be uh, similar to a five or six, even a six star hotel. The crew is very well trained. The analogy of crew to guests is one to one. So. It's like you have your own personal uh, butler waiting on you all the time. They are there to take care of all your needs, anything you request, within reason, of course, they, they are there to do it. The most important uh, thing about yachting is that it gives this kind of flavor of, what, of the lifestyle of the rich and famous, and uh, I believe that everybody wants to experience that. The Opery has three decks, and the interior is better than I'd ever imagined. The salon is on the main deck, kind of like a huge living room, where you can relax with the other guests in your party. The dining room can be set for a formal dinner or a breakfast buffet, your choice. But the staterooms are what you have to see. The main cabin is huge, the entire width of the boat, with a king-size bed and complete entertainment system. Number two cabin has a king bed, all entertainment features, and also the full width of the boat. Plus, an attached private office slash library. Not that I'd see anybody wanting to do any real work on this trip. Number three and four are identical. Both have queen beds, private TV VCRs and stereos, and marble bathrooms with jacuzzi tubs, showers, and double sinks. Then cabins five and six have twin beds with a sliding wall that can turn them into a big family suite, again with all the bells and whistles. Okay, all this sounds great, but can real people really afford to do this? I found it's definitely possible if you get a group together who would usually splurge on a luxury resort. But in order to charter a yacht in the Greek islands, you need to find one. Check, that's elementary. So who are you going to call? Who knows Greece? Who specializes in the best yachts? And who's based in the U.S. on your calling plan? 
Valef Yachts, the yacht experts according to many Hollywood stars. They represent the best of the best, started 36 years ago by Mr. Bill Lefakinis, the man himself. Basically, I asked Bill for a luxury yacht to charter, and opa, here I am. It was that easy. Bill, this has been such a perfect week, and I've had such a great time. How would you describe the perfect yachting vacation? What's the advantage of going out on a private yacht like this? On a private yacht like this, or bigger or smaller, has the same advantages. The number one thing is privacy. Very important. For celebrities or non-celebrities, some people want to go with their friends, uh, that they might not want other people to know, etc., etc. You, you know what I'm talking about. The second thing is that you are on your own yacht, with your own crew, to take you where you want to go, with whomever you want to do, at any time you want to do it without knowing anything about it. No hassles, no details to worry about. Just relax and enjoy. But what kind of yachts can you charter? I found that there are three types of yachts with a crew. A sailing yacht, you basically go with the wind so there's no fuel cost. A motor sailor, a sailboat with a motor so you have a choice. Or a motor yacht, no sails. And the price to charter is based on the size of the boat. So. How much are we talking here? A nice smaller motor yacht that has three double cabins, air conditioned, a crew of three, including fuel, will, will cost $1,200 per day. Per for, person? No. For the whole boat? For the whole boat of six people. So you divide that, it's $200 per day per person. That's very affordable, and that includes... And they don't realize it. They don't realize it. So there is a possibility of yeah. doing this kind of a vacation and people just to know, well, that's your job. You know, you're, the, you're a yacht broker, so people come to you and, the, and they want answers. Yes, and I'm ready to give them anytime anybody wants. So. Wait a minute, let's review. Everything you ever wanted to know about yacht chartering can be answered by Valif Yachts. Got it. Now, for the more expensive yachts, Bill told me that the average cost to charter is about $5,000 a day. But remember, for that, you also get the luxury, the privacy, and the chance to feel like royalty. I can definitely vouch for that. Wow, just think, this could be your home away from home for a week of bliss in the Greek islands. You know who is the, the person who charters the yacht? The average tourist. And, and anybody who can afford to pack his suitcase to go on a vacation cannot afford not to go on a yacht vacation because there's nothing better than, than being on a yacht in Greece. I have to agree with that. The sea, the sun, those beautiful islands. Yep, there's nothing better. Cruising on a Valef yacht. Now this is what the Greek islands are all about. Oh, yes. How much should you budget for family vacations? Well, everybody should have a bucket of fun money. You know, you save for so many things, for retirement, for your kids' education. You want to have some fun money to play around with, and that's the money you can use to travel. I think about 5 to 10% of your income is a good amount to save in that way, and then you can use it to go anywhere you want. Laura McKenzie's Traveler will be right back. Welcome back, and for more information on the Greek islands, go to lauramackenzietv.com. A tour of the Greek islands on a private mega yacht is like 10 vacations in one. You have the scenery, And the food. The entertainment. And the shopping. And last but not least, the history.
Wow. You know, this is one of the most fantastic vacations I've ever had. The weather's perfect, the people are so friendly, and look what you get to see. Listen, crickets. I love it. Be sure to join me again next time from another fantastic place somewhere else around the world. From the Greek islands, I'm Laura McKenzie. Bye-bye.